Okay, so what we've got here is my modified Sega Naomi Universal arcade machine. I've modified it to be able to run a Sega Dreamcast. Most of the modifications were actually done to the Sega Dreamcast, uh, trying to keep the cabinet in as much of the original condition as I could, um, with the addition of the VMU there, as you can see. Inside the control panel, I have rewired all of the action buttons and the joystick buttons to actually terminate down to these PC ATX 24 pin connections. That allows me to switch between the two modified Dreamcast controllers and switching back to the original Sega Naomi um, interface. And that can be done just in a few seconds. And then the control pad wires are routed out down the side, down into the base, uh, to the Dreamcast. So this can just be swapped in and out very quickly instead of the original Sega Naomi motherboard. And as you see, it's been rewired to take VGA, uh, left and right audio, and wired directly into the power supply. And all these just plug in and out very quickly. Uh, so it allows you to play a load of the games like Soul Calibur that weren't on the original Naomi. Let's just see that running. So as you can see that works really well, really nicely, and the sound works extremely well as well. And the VMU will be showing Soul Calibur logo. So there you go, my modified Sega Dreamcast to Naomi Arcade System. Uh, have a look on my website, lots more information and photos about how I've done this. Thanks a lot.